Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, giving you my first impressions, thoughts on my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is my August Glam Bag Plus bag. Where the hell did the summer go? Someone please tell me. I don't understand how it's August. I really don't. It's like baffling to me. I feel like the older I get, the quicker time flies. The good news is, is that we can all take a moment to really think about how it's August and we only have a few weeks left and really take those few weeks that are left of the summer and really enjoy them, like make the best of them. Oh, I can't, I can't. And if I see one more pumpkin related anything, pumpkin spice, pumpkin carving, fall, apple picking, I'm really, I'm going to lose my damn mind, people. It's August, okay? We're not in October, we have some time. Let us get there all in due time. Let's get into the video. Before we do that, I just wanna remind you guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you, and if you want to support this channel, show me your support by hitting that button. It means a lot for me, it does a lot for me, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you have not yet done so, be sure to click that bell button. This way you get a notification. It lets you know each and every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel, and it's just like a friendly reminder to come hang out with me because I want to hang out with you guys. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus review slash unboxing slash first impressions video. Just so this video does not get confusing, I'm going to put the price of every product on the screen that was included in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm gonna be mixing other products into this simply because I did not receive a full face of goods and we're going for a full face look here today. I have washed my face, I used my Dermalogica gel cleanser, and then I simply applied the NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper. I do wanna mention that there was a product included in this Ipsy bag. It is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask, a mask that you can leave on for three to five minutes and then wash it off, or if you need extra hydration, you can slather it all over your face, go to sleep with it. It's kind of like an overnight mask. It feels really nice. I feel like this would be really good for sensitive skin. As an all night mask, this is a little bit too much for me. My skin doesn't absorb it as much as I would like to, and I find my face is like kind of damp when I put my head on my pillow, and I don't like that. Like I don't like it when my face sticks to my pillow. How I like to use it is a little bit different. I do leave it on as like an overnight mask mask, but I use it as like a spot treatment. I will put some of this on my nose, on my chin, wherever I tend to get a little bit dry. So this is a really great spot treatment anywhere that you need extra hydration. Perfect for that. I think that if you have oily skin though, you're not going to like this. Your skin will not absorb this and it's just going to sit on top of your face, but we're not getting ready to go to bed. We're getting ready to go out even if we're not going out. I mean, honestly, sometimes I sit here and do my makeup and I don't even go out. Anyone else? Sometimes I ain't got nowhere to go, but I just wanna look nice and it's fun and I just like to play with makeup. I'm gonna be using my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. You guys have seen me use this before. I am going to mix it with something that was included in my Glam Bag Plus this month. Duva Beauty Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. So you can use this as a highlighter or you can use this mixed in with your foundation or with your moisturizer to give a luminescent glow to the skin. I love, love, love the packaging of this. I have swatch this it's really pretty I will swatch it for you guys but I have yet to put it on the face so we're gonna find out together if this is a good product or not so I like that it has a dropper it's just a really pretty shiny gold illuminator a little bit of my pond's moisturizer I'm gonna put it right where I swatched I'm gonna put just like a drop Boop. and it's gonna create this really luminescent paste I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over the skin like I would a moisturizer and I will bring you guys in so you can see a little bit better. Let's bring it in for the real thing. And I'm just putting this all over the skin and look how like dewy we are. We're like shiny, shiny. This month I did get a foundation in my bag and I was excited to try this. This is the It Cosmetics a Bye Bye Foundation that is a full coverage moisturizer. This has SPF 50 in it. It's hydrating and anti-aging. Apply one to two pumps to clean skin using your favorite It Cosmetics brush or fingertips either on top or in place of your skincare products. For the best results, apply starting at the center of your face then smooth and blend outward for complexion perfection. So I'm gonna do just that. This is in the shade medium. Let's start with one. And I'm going to use my favorite It Cosmetics brush and I'm going to use my Complexion Perfection brush. This is what it looks like. One side is for foundation and one side is for concealer. I'm gonna place it in the center of my face and then push it on out towards the outside of my face. So we want the most coverage in the center of our face and that's why we apply it to the center first. That's usually where you have the most discoloration. I definitely do. I'm like very red and dark, 
and I'm just literally pouncing this into the skin. This is not my first time using this foundation. I received my box a couple days ago and just haven't had a chance to film with it yet. So the best finish for me is to go over it with a sponge. It kind of just makes it look even more natural because it sucks up any of the extra product that we don't necessarily need on our face. Eco Tool sponge, this is damp. I'm squeezing it. There's no water running out of it. Oh, yes there is. Okay, good thing I squeezed it. You guys know I like to preach, like if there's water, coming out of your sponge. Your sponge is too wet and it's gonna break apart your makeup. Nothing on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pat this all over the face. The more and more that you layer this, the cakier your finish is gonna look and the cakier your face is gonna be. So I would definitely approach this as a less is more kind of foundation and I would also approach this as more of like a CC cream than a foundation. I'm curious to maybe do a video where one side I do half of my face with this foundation and one side I use the CC cream because to me they're pretty comparable. I think that coverage is pretty close. I mean the foundation is definitely a little bit more full coverage than the CC cream but the finish is definitely very very similar. And I don't think it cancels out that much more so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a comparison video. Maybe do a wear test. Maybe that'll be up next week. This is what the skin looks like. Let's go ahead and have some fun with this highlighter. I do want to see what this would look like on the skin. See what it would look like as like a body highlight. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh my God, I love makeup. This is so fun. Yes, like bathe me in this. I don't know why, I feel like Beyonce. And I feel like this would be really nice mix in with moisturizer and then put all over your body. I'm definitely gonna do that. I will report back on that for you guys, but I'm definitely gonna do that this week. Okay, we're getting sidetracked here because I literally only have foundation on. All right guys, brows are on. The only thing that I want to note while doing my brows is that mixing the moisturizer in with this like literally no video goes by where I don't make a mess. Excuse my French. I just got highlighter everywhere. Okay. Um, I need a makeup remover wipe. I did not like that mixing this in with the moisturizer. There was a bunch of glitter in my brows. So if you're going to do that and that bothers you because it did bother me. Maybe go ahead and avoid the eye brow area with that highlighter. In the balm of your hand, Greatest Hits Volume 2 palette, we have a bronzer, we have blushes, a highlighter, an eyeshadow. I'm gonna grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set the lids on a fluffy brush and I'm just patting this over the concealer that I put on the lids, not on camera, I did that after I did my brows. Same big fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab Meat Matte. I don't know, but I'm going to grab this shade right here. Oh, I forgot that this brush is literally awful for everything except applying a translucent powder. Oh, sorry. Morphe M504, that same shade. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. And I'm just making a mess. You know, I don't care. We're just putting it everywhere. I'm patting it onto the lid, patting and pressing, and then... I'm gonna swoosh it around and I'm literally like bringing this up to my eyebrow. I'm literally just like attacking my lid with this shade and I have not used this palette at all. I've used some of these products. I've owned them separately because this is a greatest hits. All of their best selling products. This mimics the shadows in my face pretty well. So I feel like this is a really great color to contour the lids with. So that would mean just taking it in the crease and just going like this. In windshield, in windshield wiper motions, in windshield wiper motions. Why can't I speak? And it'll just give a little bit more definition to the eye. So we have a light cast of shadow, which is exactly what I wanted. The bronzer down here called Bahama Mama. It's just a light bronzer, tighter fluffy brush, Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH35. I'm just going to keep this to the crease. Oh, this is a really pretty crease shade. Alice Cooper, which is this gorgeous purple shade right here, a flat shadow brush. This one kind of has a tapered end. And now taking what's ever left, I'm not dipping back in. I'm gonna go in towards the inner corner. 
and I'm just keeping it on the lid. I'm not bringing that into the grease. Kind of want like a rocker vibe. I'm feeling like a rock star today. Actually, no, I'm not. It's Sunday and I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm kind of feel, I feel like trash. I feel sad. I feel depressed. I definitely get the Sunday scaries even more so in the summer. It's like awful. Okay, so I'm literally just pressing this into the lid. Just for blending purposes, I want to go back in with that pink shade that we started out with the matte russo shade with that tighter blending brush that we used with the bronzer shade i'm going to pick up that pink and just throw this into the crease i'm just curious so i want to see what this purple shade looks like if i moisten my brush disgusting word okay i'm just using my morphe continuous setting spray you can use whatever facial spray you have dipping back into that purple and I'm going to do the same thing one more time. Mm, yeah, it's picking up the shimmer a little bit more. I got punched in the face like chic kind of vibe, which I feel like is my vibe a lot of the time. Morphe M431 and I'm going to grab the Mary Luminizer shade. I love this. This is actually a highlighter. We're going to use it to highlight underneath the brow bone. clean up underneath the eyes. I don't really see any fallout, but there's always fallout, guys. I'm gonna just throw that tart right back underneath the eyes. Well, not back, it wasn't here, but it was on our lids, you know what I'm saying? Pat that into the skin using the Eco Tools sponge that we used before. I'm gonna use my Banana Luxury Baking Powder by Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna take some of that in my hand, literally pushing it into the sponge and just patting this all over the face this foundation i feel like if you have oily skin you're not really gonna like it if you have dry skin it's one of those that like really clings onto dry patches because it is supposed to be moisturizing and hydrating if you have really great skin okay i feel like you're gonna like this foundation i'm gonna set my under eyes using that rimmel stay mat and that fluffy brush that I used it on prior, the brush that only works with translucent powder because it's literally atrocious. Grab the bronzer that is in here. And I don't love how my makeup applies on top of this foundation. I can like almost feel the foundation moving as I'm putting the bronzer on top of it. And it's getting really, really cakey. So I am just, I don't like this foundation. Sorry, It Cosmetics. I love your uh, perfection, complexion, whatever the heck it is, brush, but I'm not having it with this foundation, to just be honest. For blush today, I'm going to skip the bomb because I actually received this in my Ipsy bag as well. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette, and oh my god, these shades are so, so cute. You could definitely use these on the lids as well. But I'm going to go in with the shade right here, the JH06. This is a really pretty palette. Just like looking at it, it's really pretty. And it does have some highlighter shades here. This is way too dark for me. But these could be like cute blush toppers. This one would be really nice if you have a darker complexion. But I think we're going to go in with this one in just a second, the lighter one. But I love how like pink this is. I'm gonna use the same brush and go in to this shimmer shade right here, the lighter one. We're just gonna use this as like a, br a blush topper. I really can't speak today, guys. I really can't. I'm like real struggling. That's so pretty. It kind of just gives it like a really pretty sheen. Put some down my nose. Ooh. That is really pretty. I think I wanna go into this gold highlighter shade and put this on the inner corners of our eyes. What do we think? A little something different. M431. Oh, it's like orange. Okay. I don't love that for us. I really don't. I'm going to grab Mary because that's my gal. She's my ride or die highlight on a normal basis. So I don't know why I would steer from her today. And there we go. Oh God, what are you doing? Do you hear Brogan meowing outside the door? Come on. Same brush. I'm going to grab that purple. Let's put it underneath the eyes. Oh, I like that. Unique Mood Struck Epic Mascara. 
I applied this and I didn't even tell you what it was because I wasn't sure if I liked it. Dior Addict Lacquer Stick in the shade Lazy. That's rude. Who wants to be called Lazy? Maybelline, this is in the shade Blushing Beige. And this tends to mellow any lip that I have out. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm just gonna set the face. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I wanted to leave you guys up close this way you could take a look at my skin. I'm not loving my makeup today because of this. I think the eyes are really nice. I think that the NYX palette and the Bomb palette are awesome. I think that this really does give a rock and roll vibe, which is what I wanted to go for today. I really do like the eyes. I just wish the face had a little bit more full coverage and I wish I wasn't as shiny as I am. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do we think of this makeup look? I want to know. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so down below. And while you're down there, also click that bell button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.